All right, Mom. <clears throat> Let's, we're back again to see what happened to Aunt Sponge and James and the Giant Peach and the Ladybug. Chapter 9. Hungry and trembling, James stood out alone in the open, wondering what to do. The night was all around him now, and high overhead, a wild white moon was riding in the sky. There was not a sound, not a movement anywhere, like what they do on, uh, you know, uh, Christmas Eve. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse, am I right, Mom? Most people, and especially small children, are often quite scared of being out of door. Yes, yes, come in, please. Well, hey there, stranger. Sherry, welcome back. How was your trip to Mississippi? It was great. I went to Jackson and visited my, my, my uncle. Yeah, what's his name? His name's Jerry. Jerry, that's yeah. interesting. I was here taking care of my dead mother, my dying mother. Yeah, the doctors tell me she's in critical condition still. Yes. Uh, you know, I, the whole time you were gone, I was thinking about you and your situation. Uh, and how I feel very terrible for what happened to your husband with the lawnmower incident. Yeah, he, uh, he was just minding his own business one day, and out of nowhere, some man ran him over with a lawnmower. Yeah. Yeah, he had him tied up, ran him over with a lawnmower, and filmed it. That is a tragedy, and I'm sorry you had to go through it. A, a beautiful yeah. and a woman like you should not have to go through something like that. I'll tell you this, Adi. When you witness your, when you witness your, your, your significant other dying on camera, it changes you. On camera? Yeah, they recorded it. I just really? told you that. I, I didn't know that. I literally just told you they recorded it. I didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, you will, you were recording a podcast, so if you want, you can just, uh... Rewind back and listen, because I, I literally just told you that. No. I did. <laughs> I I genuinely don't think you did. I want to tell you right now, Adi, I did. Uh, you ever get, uh, you ever, do women get stomach hair? Do they? <laughs> That's a personal question, me being a lady, I would never answer. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, tell me more about your trip. What did your Uncle Jerry well, get, what Uncle sort Jerry... of shenanigans did you and Jerry get into? Well, Michael J. is actually a lawyer. He's a very busy man. Yeah. Um, he was doing some interviews. Yeah. For a local uh, TV news station. Okay. Because he actually worked on the trial with Stephen Avery. Really? You ever heard of him? Yeah. What? I don't think that was in Mississippi, though. Why? So he moved to Mississippi after the the trial? Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He did live in Wisconsin, but now... Jerry Buting is your uncle? Yeah. D Do you have Dean Strang's number? No, all I know is Jerry. That's my uncle. Congratulations! Sherry Buting. Sherry and Jerry Buting. Is yeah. that your <laughs> Sherry Buting? Really? Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, I'm very glad your uncle is getting the press he deserves. Great lawyer. Well, yeah, well, if he was a better lawyer, he would have got uh, Stephen Avery acquitted. Yeah, well, Manitowoc County's fucked. So, yeah, I mean, what can you do? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but he was real busy that entire time. I barely got to see him. Bro. Oh! What sort of cases is he on these days? I can't disclose that information. Okay. <laughs> nice talking to you, then. <laughs> Bitch. I'm just kidding. I very much like you, Sherry Buting. Yeah. I just sat oh, here. Oh, I'm sorry. I just sat oh, here. <laughs> I've just been here <laughs> reading to my my mom. Yeah, I know you're reading to her. The doctor says she probably can't hear, but I just figured it's... Yeah, no, uh, she probably can't hear you. You mean she can't hear anything? Probably not. Not even if I were to make a pass at you? She wouldn't be able to hear? I don't know what you're getting at already, but me being a lady... I'm gonna have to say that would not be appropriate. You don't have feelings for me, Sherry Beauty? Not at this point, no. Okay. I'm sorry to have bothered you with that sentiment. Uh, maybe. But what, I do. what did. What. But I do. Do what? I do have a little bit of feelings for you. Good, 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 good feelings? What? Are they, are they good feelings? 
Yeah. Tell me more about your trip in the Mississippi. What did you do on your time there? Well, I, uh... Because you said you, you said you spent time with Jerry, but then you say you didn't get to spend any time with Jerry. So now I'm just curious as to what you did. Did you see any sights? All those great well, Mississippi bayous? I, d I did go out. Yeah. And I was hiking in the woods. Yeah. And I came across this, uh, this house in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And this little kid was playing the banjo. Okay. And they captured me and tortured me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Sherry! <laughs> what? You mean the plot of the movie Deliverance, starring know, Burt you're... Reynolds and John Voight, happened about. to you? All I know is that this little boy was outside on the porch playing the banjo. He looked just like Dewey from Malcolm in the Middle. Yeah. And... And they capt what? Yep, they captured me for being on the land. They're crazy inbred creatures. Yeah, and did Jerry Butin come and help you? No, I barely saw Jerry. <laughs> I know, but how did you get out? You barely saw him, not because of his commercials, because you were captured and tortured. I don't want to talk about it right How'd now. How'd you get out? I don't want to talk about it, but I did have to suck a lot of penis. What? Sherry, this I'm a lady. is Sherry. This I'm is a lady. I'll be the first to admit, but yeah, the, the, you, know, you gotta do what you gotta do, a lady. I'm a strong, independent woman. I know it's very attractive. Not the sucking the penis, the being the very attractive. I mean, You're saying me no, being it, forced to suck a bunch of hillbilly penises is attractive. No, uh, no, sucking penis, yes, it's attractive. If it is someone you like and are not being forced to do so, but sucking the penis of for retarded hillbillies, that is bad news. Yeah, yeah. But the part that I originally said was hot was that you are a strong, independent woman. That is very attractive you to me. You found that attractive, really? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had any girlfriends in the past, Daddy? Uh, I'm not actually... I, I, yeah, I have had some girlfriends in the past. Um, like the my wife, Petunia. I murdered her. You didn't know? What? The, my wife, I married her. No, after that. I fucked her in the asshole. You never said that. Well, it, beside the I'm point. I'm talking about the fact that you just told me you murdered your wife, Hardy. Crazy talk, I didn't say that. Okay. What I what I was going to say yeah, is I once, I once dated this uh, very strong, very independent, beautiful Republican woman. And she... She had the great... Wait, wait, you telling me she was a Republican? Yeah. That don't make no sense. I it... myself support Bernie Sanders. Me too. I lied to my mom and said that I did not, but you can Once you feel the burn, you cannot unfeel the burn. I'm gonna tell you something. Bernie Sanders touched me one day. Your vagina? Yep. <laughs> what? Yep. It was right around the time that... It was Condoleezza Rice. That's who I was saying I dated. <laughs> Just so you know, I dated Condoleezza Rice. <laughs> the Supreme Court Justice? Nope. Is she was the she Secretary of State. The Secretary of State. Yeah, she was... Uh, it's all right. It's all right, girl. I knew that. It's all right, Sherry Buden. Were you there firsthand for the Stephen Avery trial in Manitowoc no, County? I want to tell you I wasn't. All right. I don't know why you got so mad about that. It's just a simple question. I just don't know why you always question me, Adi. I don't know why you always ask me questions. I, I'm sorry. You ask me questions. I'm sorry. It's, I just want to get to know you better, Sherry. What is you doing on a Friday night when nobody's watching? You're home alone, all by yourself. Nobody's watching? Nobody's nobody. Yeah, just what you do by yourself, Adi. I have under my bed one of those giant dragon dildos. With the eggs. One of the giant alien egg dildos. I... What? What you do, what you do, is you use this alien dildo to gape your asshole. Okay? Alright. Then you take the, the dragon egg, and you put it deep, you, you put it deep inside you. Okay. Then, come Sunday, Monday, you shit out the giant egg, and it... Just feels wonderful. There's on your no asshole. fucking way this is real. Yes. Is that real? I don't think so. <laughs> oh my. They do. They do it. They they do have these in real life, though. I I've seen them on Tumble.
And I bought one. And I shove eggs in my ass on Fridays. What do you do on Fridays? Uh, well, I am. Um, I'm kind of sick of you asking me questions. <laughs> I'm just. You can't ask a question and then expect me not to. Uh, you know what, Addy? I'm getting real sick of your attitude and I don't really don't like you attacking me. I'm not. I'm not attacking you, Sherry. You're attacking me. I'm sorry. You asked the question. <laughs> What? Sorry, what were we talking about again? <laughs> you were just asking you asked me, me questions. if I met Stephen Avery firsthand. Yeah. I was at the trial. Were you? Yeah. I thought you said you weren't. <laughs> How do you know what? I'm sick of you asking me all these questions. <laughs> what? Sherry, I know you have my ghost babies, Adi. I know you took them. Now where are they? And hand them over. I don't have them. Why are you possessing Sherry? It's the only way to get the ghost babies. Why don't you possess? Why don't you possess my mom, and then have make her give birth to the babies? I can't possess somebody who's legally dead. <laughs> She's not legally dead. Now tell me. Where my ghost babies? I, don't, I just said I don't. she has not given birth. Look at the hump under the bed. She's still pregnant. I can't move. What? I'm stuck in Shira's body and feels retarded. What? I'm trying to move her arms, but I can't, all right? What's wrong with this woman? <laughs> Nothing is wrong with her. She's a beautiful, strong woman. I think it's the fact that she's 500 pounds. She's a... <laughs> she has to be 500 pounds, Audi. I can't even lift this leg. <laughs> Before I died, I weighed 140 pounds. <laughs> That's all the strength I got in me. <laughs> oh my. I just got the most throbbing headache. Cherry. Oh. Are you alright? Oh, man. Sherry? <laughs> Not that easy. <laughs> it's me. Petunia. Petunia! But <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's just you, McKellen. I can't give you your babies. <laughs> Give me my baby, so I'll shoot. You don't have a gun. And apparently you can't move your arm either. You call my bluff, Arnie. But I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> Get out of my girlfriend. Get out of my girlfriend, Sherry. What? What? My girlfriend? What? Your girlfriend. You didn't tell me you had no girlfriend. I don't. I, Sherry, I'm no. Leaving. Sherry, no. I was talking about you. Sherry, no. Sherry? All right. James felt exactly like that now. It, yes. Me, yeah, it's me. Tyrese? Yep, it's me, Tyrese. Alright, I'm leaving. For fuck's sake. It'd be a good idea. Alright, ha- Good night, my goodbye, mother. Uh, you're gonna have to get out of here right now. I'm saying goodbye! Get out. This happens every day. Don't ever say goodbye to your mama. <laughs> Tyrese, this happens every day. Goodbye, mother.
That's Morse code for get out of my house. Okay. <laughs> she was pregnant. What a weird, uh, what a weird experience <laughs> that we just listened to. I did, um, myself decipher that Morse code. It does not actually mean get out of my house. What does that mean? All it said was ghost baby. Do you think Tyrese is Destiny McElnery? No. Oh, okay. Then... <laughs> <laughs> what what a weird event that just happened, like, with seemingly no, no, no in like no point. <laughs> like, that's uh, I. It was obnoxious too. It almost woke up your sister. Uh, yeah, apparently tapping on the mic woke her the fuck up. I don't think that's what you're uh, Yeah, about. I know. Because <laughs> by then we were quiet. What the fuck? I'm bad. Why? I want to live on my own. <laughs> Well, sometimes you just gotta get possessed. Yeah. What we're referring to is ex-mom got mad that uh, Sherry got possessed. Yeah. And who knew that Sherry, his uncle, was Jerry Buting, and her I name know, was right? also Buting. I know. What an interesting turn of events. Yeah. She must have kept her maiden name when she got married, because her name's Sherry Buting. Yeah, a lot of Southern women like to do that. Yeah. Or maybe uh, she yeah. just reverted back after she got widowed, you know? Yeah. If you if you get widowed and then change your name back, do you lose your widow benefits? You don't. But what if I you did? So how do you change your name after you get married? Does it cost money? I feel like it does. <clears throat> I feel like you just got like a normal person to change their name costs money. Right. So yeah, I feel like it probably does. Beep. There's like spit on my computer. Didn't Br- Bree change her name? Yeah. Uh, did she, she legally had to, do it. Yeah, she had to like yeah legally change her name. Yeah. How much was it? I don't know. But she had to like put an ad in the paper. Why? You just like put it in the paper that like you're changing your name before you can you actually have to? do it. Yeah, something like that. I think because like you so say you can't like change your name and like and be like I'm not Clarence who has like 15 warrants. I'm now David who has no warrants. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> or you could just like change your name not legally and just hope that it catches on. <laughs> it doesn't really work. I know. I know. <laughs> well, what I don't, I don't understand is like I think Brie changed her name legally, but then she still signs, like, Dean on all of her papers. Really? So I don't know. I don't think she actually signed it legally. I don't know if she did. Because her pretzel maker ma- mail comes as Dean. Right. Her name in the system is Dean. Right. Which probably means her tax information Her is Dean. voter registration is Dean. Yeah, she didn't change her name. Yeah. Well, I'm bitch. <laughs> Just kidding. <coughs> Just kidding, better if you're listening. She's not. She's not listening. She's she not listening. Listen to this. Yeah, she would Except never for one to episode. Bam, the, yeah, famous baked the beans. one episode that we like mentioned something moderately negative about her. No, it wasn't negative about her. It was negative about another. Oh yeah, Josie. Something. Yeah. Us doing something bad. Yeah. That's something like a, somebody came up today. They're like, Does Courtney still work here? Yeah, I heard that. When, who's Courtney? I I don't know of any Courtney who's ever worked there. Funk. Maybe. Funk. She works at Chipotle. Does she? Yeah, she, she doesn't seem Chipotle, like a Chipotle yeah. employee to me. I know, that's what I thought, too. She does not seem like the Chipotle clientele, like Jordan Natasha Burkhardt. Do you think she's, like, turned into, like, a major whore? She probably will. Well, she's married, so she's I don't mar- know. Oh, yeah. yeah. This happens every time. Like, <laughs> she's, she's every, yeah. like, like, five times. Yeah, she's married, and... So, I don't know. She might not She might not have been swayed by the, the Chipotle ways. But then again, like, she also doesn't seem like she fits in very well. Every time I see her there, she's just kind of, like... There. Music. Did she remember you? Yeah. <clears throat> it was funny because the first the burrito this time. Well, she's the cashier, so oh. she's literally Jordan. <laughs> I feel like she might actually be like Jordan's replacement now that Jordan That'd moved be neat. to Fairborn. But the problem is, she's like a good person. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Courtney what if, Funk what is if a good Jordan person. To this? Oh well, then she doesn't. But if she did, what if she did? If she did, then I want. What if she's like? What if she's like? I miss making videos with Zach. Let's see what he's doing now. He she goes on this episode and listens. I don't think she would have gotten this far. Uh, I think she would have been confused after everything that happened at the beginning of the show. She might. She seems like the type of person like, what is this? What? She loves saying that. Is was that Hannah? This? No, she. Well, I think you're referring to who is this <laughs> yeah. from Kung Fu Tiger Cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> you ever think we should like go back and uh, finish the the our new apartment series? <laughs> We shouldn't. It would years be so, later. Yeah, like literally. Four years later. Yeah, that would be so funny. They wouldn't be funny. <laughs> they would be. They would be so terrible. Like, how, how do you, you finish the thermostat video? That's what I was literally just gonna <laughs> say. Like, how would you finish the thermostat video? I think you just had to, you just had to like show other household appliances. Like, here's how you use an oven. 
Well, we could probably come up with something more interesting. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, like, like after it turns... Like, after, like, we're done recording for this video, he's like, oh, fuck, I, like, I gotta go home to my... My abusive wife. wife. My abusive wife. <laughs> abusive wife. You don't really hear a lot about abusive wives. Only abusive husbands. My grandma abused my grandpa. Oh. She, like, hit him. Once? No, repeatedly. Always. Yeah. Oh. Did and they he divorce? just took it. No. Oh, that's sad. With him till the day he died, and then when he died, she started drinking, and then died from drinking-related illness. Meaning she got drunk and fell on the stairs, and then my mom found her with her brains yeah. all over the Oh, floor. no. Yeah. That was tragic. That was pretty tragic. Yeah. She got drunk and fell down the stairs. Is that yep. what happened? Yep. Oh. Yeah, we kept telling her, you gotta stop drinking, you gotta stop drinking. Because she, like, one time she, like, fell, like, three stairs and, like, hurt her ankle. Mm-hmm. Where, like, like, you gotta stop. And then one day, my mom... I remember had, this. My, my, yeah, my mom hadn't heard from her. And then knocked on the door and knew something was wrong because of my mom's... <sighs> psychic. My Yeah, my mom's a fucking psychic. Yeah. Well, she thinks she is, at least. And so she, like, broke in, right? She, yeah, she broke in the door and then went immediately to the stairs. And there she was at the bottom. Was her brains on the floor? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that until no. recently. Was it, do you think it was real? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. That's tragic. <clears throat> yeah, it's really tragic. That's and really my, tragic. Now my mom was literally going down the same exact path. Oh. Yeah. This is awkward. And that's what I told my mom, like, when... I got kicked out of yeah. my house. I was like, you're literally doing the same thing. Ooh. But then I told her I hope she died too. Well, you know, <laughs> you gotta, you, you know, you, you gotta <laughs> say what you gotta say. Am I right? Yeah. Well, it still didn't get through to her though. Yeah, clearly. Uh, one time my mom being the psychic that she is had a dream that she dug up some missing girl in the news and then she literally thought it was real. Like she knew, she thought she knew her. it was. So she called the police and had no. her come out and said that she knew where this girl was. Mm-mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cringe. <laughs> and what did they say? They were just like, all right, she's crazy. Like, she's, like, she, she's like, she's by a barn in a cornfield. I guarantee you'll find her there. They're like, how do you know that? She's like, I just know. <laughs> what? Yeah. Like, they they probably, like, thought she did it. Probably. She was probably, like, one of suspect list <laughs> like this but they didn't find her yeah at least they still to this day have not found this oh. girl what if she is by a barn in a cornfield she's not wait there's a barn in a cornfield next to my house oh tyler sindel's backyard what if she's there what if she is let's go dig around her let's go dig around his backyard why would we my mom's like not rest a in peace <laughs> because we need to see this woman yeah, well she was a little girl she's a woman now my mom's so fucking annoying. A deceased, <laughs> a deceased woman. Yeah, my mom. Let, let's think of some other weird shit that my mom has done. Th- that seems like the most cringe. Gave me all of her clothes for that Lady Gaga video that we never did. Yep, that was before. Yeah, that was before she went literally insane. Yeah. Uh, oh, here's You always one. got mad at her because she talked to me. It wasn't because she talked to you. It was because she, like... Yeah, it was pretty dope. Yeah. I, I was like, well, she's nice. Like, we're nice. Like, we liked each other. We hate each other now. Why do we hate, why do you hate her? Because you hate her. Oh, okay. Yeah. That sign of friendship. Exactly. One time she was with her friend. This is when she first started becoming an alcoholic. She was with her friend. And the friend was like, convinced my mom that she had just lost an hour out of her life when she was 18. She's like, I don't know why, I just lost an hour of my life. What do you mean? She just, like, looked at the clock one minute, I guess, and looked, and it was an hour later. What are you- what? <laughs> yeah. Something I don't understand. That, something normal that happens. She, like, she could, but my mom came into my room. She's like, RJ, have you ever heard anything about wormholes or black oh, holes? Oh, God. I can and hear it. And I was it. like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I have a few uh, books on it. Because I did. And I do. My Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. So I figured she was just going to ask me, like, what is it? Yeah. She's like, do they explain missing time? Oh, And I'm God. like, absolutely not. <laughs> 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 Absolutely not. <laughs> Fuck. And she's like, I think you want to hear this. And she, like, brought me into the room. And she told me what happened. I was like... She was, like, driving. And then it was an hour after. And she's convinced that she got abducted by aliens. Literally convinced. And so my mom helped her look online to find other people who this happened to. And this one guy claimed the same thing happened to him. So... Well, it is a thing on the X-Files. 
Yeah, well, that's, that's like, not real. Like, <laughs> I know. She lost an hour of her life, and my mom was convinced that there was a wormhole that sucked her up. Oh, my fucking God. Or aliens. Either way. Wormhole doesn't explain, though. A wormhole is just a bend in time and space. Yeah. Time. Times. Fuck. <laughs> well, time space. Is, right. Yeah. <clears throat> the space-time continuum. Yes. I'm s- and so they found this guy. And they tried to look him up on Facebook and figure out that he died. Oh. And they contacted his son. No. And sent uh, like something like, hey, I lost time when I was 18, just like your dad. And he responded and said that his the dad, dad made crazy. it up. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, actually my dad made that up and he's he also had like clinical well, research. I don't know if he said he made it up. He's like, he's like we, don't, we don't know if we believe him. Yeah, why would you? It was so weird. Why would my mom do that? What a weird time in my life. In your life. <laughs> in, in my life. I remember... That I was just, pissed. That reminded like the whole time I was of, like, are you kidding me? This reminded... For some reason, that reminded me of... There's a there's an actor. Um, you know that really, really tall fucking guy? Like an actual Sasquatch. He's in, in Bubble Boy and then also Big Fish. No. He's like some tall, like actual, like actually has like... Is he black? No. He's like a tall guy who like actually has um giantism who you know, he's like an actual giant. I don't know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, well whatever. he's some actor, he's in a few movies. Um but he was in Bubble Boy. And which as you know was yeah, like a formidable movie in my comedy uh career. And uh he <laughs> This being your career. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He well life, I meant. He um <laughs> I found out he died and I was like devastated. I don't know why. Because uh, I hadn't seen Big Fish. It was just from <laughs> Bubble Boy. Um, and he... Uh, maybe maybe you'll recognize him from a picture. I don't know. Uh, Bubble Boy Clard. How do you remember his name? Because uh, he... It was a it was a point in the movie. He was... Okay. Bubble Boy Clard doesn't come up. <laughs> um, Bubble Boy... Bubble Boy Sasquatch. Human Sasquatch. This guy. I don't know. He's who that one is. of the ugliest That's men I've ugly, ever though. seen. Yeah. Uh, well, he died, and I found some website, Matthew McGrory. I found some website who, um, Matthew McGrory, and for some reason, I found a website. Here it is. <laughs> I found his website, thetallestman dot com, and it talks about him. He's the tallest actor, but it was it wasn't the site, but it was something about his family. It was like a family website, and I emailed his family <laughs> and said like I'm so sorry for your loss. Like he was a tremendous actor. Like he wasn't. He was just in the he was in the movie like as a freak. I wonder if I uh, have it somewhere. <laughs> he was like in the movie. I don't know how to spell his name. Just look it up. I already forgot. <laughs> Matthew Mc McGrory. I'm sure if you just look up Matthew. Well, I have a cousin named Matthew, so. Oh. What? Nope. So I don't have the email anymore. It's probably on my Saxplaya one two three email address. Saxplaya. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, isn't that cringe? Saxplaya one two three. Because for one year. Like yeah. And then grade. I made the. Well, that was when I would like make my email. You know what I mean? Fifth grade. But yeah, I made mine in the year two thousand. Really? Yeah. I was five. When you were five? Yeah, I remember because I made it the year it was, uh, year it was. RJ2000? Yami9000. Yami9? No, 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 no. It was Yami9 at sbcglobal.net. Fuck. And my password was Lugia2000. Oh my Lugia, god. Lugia the Pokemon. Oh my god. Mine was Saxplaya123. You think we could get into Yami9 at sbcglobal.net? Probably not. That'd be so weird. They probably not. They probably get deleted. What was the what was the gaggle? I wonder to get in my gaggle account. Oh, the one from Yeah. Ooh, I want to too. I remember um how do you what, what was our password? I honestly couldn't tell you. Is it your student mine's two one three one four seven? Oh. How do you still have this? It remembered. Oh. Uh, the account in this school have been disabled. Well, that's that would have been interesting. That would have been interesting. I mean, I hardly ever used it, but I when I mine. did, I like emailed like people in my class. Like I would just I remember talking to like Austin Studebaker yeah, over yeah. the gaggle email. What a weird time in our life. Why yeah. did I email the family of the human Sasquatch from Bubble Boy? 
And they responded. That's so random. And they, they responded? Res- yeah, they responded. They were like, thanks so much. Like, yeah, he was a great guy, but he's been dead for like five years at this point. So they were like over it. That's so random. You <laughs> just found out he died? I-, I know. I found out he died, and I was just like devastated. But of course, they listed Big Fish because that was like a good role for him. Like, he was good in Big Fish. Was he a lead? No. Oh my god. He was in it as a Sasquatch, of course, but like that was like the highlight of his career, and I'm like, I loved him as Clard and Bubble Boy. <laughs> like, and, he, and you know and you know they're like, Who the fuck is this kid? Who just now who Sax Playa one two three? Who just found out that like our dad died five years ago. Do you think he could in a sax player? No. Do you not remember your I have like no earthly idea what it could be. Huh. Probably karate twenty one. How long have you been using that? Well, my dad karate. created it. My dad he karate, created right? Karate Twenty One. Yeah. Uh, Wait, didn't you say you stole it from your dad? No, he he like just made he just made my email like he just he just made it. And so, let's see, Sax Playa One Two Three. Sorry, we don't recognize this email. I don't know what it was then. Hey, well, you have to put like at Yahoo because there's like at Ymail. At- well, it doesn't usually matter. SBC Global. Doesn't usually matter if you put that for me at least. Um, I'm trying to think of, like who else it would have been. What other email? Yeah, like because I I never had a Gmail. It's always been Austin Sex Zero Zero Yahoo dot com. Sex Playa One Two Three at Yahoo dot com. Yeah. Well, that's, that's yeah. It's sad. never gonna exist. Uh, who knows what it is? Then I've just had Austin Sex Zero Zero. I haven't been that exciting with my email names. Yeah. But who has really? It's I, I need to, a lot. I need to like make I made another one Zachary Allen Roberts at, at gmail dot com or something like that, uh, and I already don't use it. Why? Don't know. Why did I make it? Yeah. Uh, just to be more professional. Well, yeah, that's good. You should have another email yeah. for a profession. Yeah, for like school or whatever. University of Phoenix. Together we rise. Yeah, bro. See if you ever see me again, you fucking cunt.